Welcome back everybody, it's JD and we're doing Seven Days Die Darkness Falls. And we're doing version 4.1.1 base advanced, very advanced base design uh, builds. And this is the third in the series and probably the final unless I come up with a new idea. Uh, this is a pit base and also an underground base at the same time. Um, I actually put a crafting place in there. Uh, so we'll tour that in a second. Uh, we are on day 700. Um, game stage uh, 750. And we are on Nomad. Um, 64 concurrent zombies. So um, let's look at the top of this um, real quick. I have this ramp here. This little elevated stuff. And that should force the zombies down this way. Uh, I don't want them to re really use the ladders to get down there. I want them to fall into the pit. And I don't want them necessarily hanging out above me because I'm going to be right down there where you see the turret symbols. Um, so I got some electric fences here to discourage that. Uh, and I'm hoping that the only thing that's going to come there is the uh, succubi when they come. They'll start trying to pound down there or they'll come down here and harass me here. I got a couple uh, electric fences there too. But let's go to the base entrance first. Oh, uh, that's generator power for that. This is the base entrance. I'm going to stay in uh, God mode because it's faster. So you, you climb down here and then you can either take the ladder down or the express elevator down to the hay bales and then through the door down the hallway and here we have what could be a crafting room, bedroom, base, you know, or anything you want here. Uh, also, you could make a, a garage, an underground garage or whatever down that way too. Um, uh, zombies should not path this way. Uh, then we come to here. Um, ladder going down or going up. Um, we'll, we'll go down because we're going to start down in the guts real quick. Oops. Generator here. All it powers is that um, there's a camera there to the junction box, junction box to some dart traps down there. And we'll talk about that when I get out there. Um, we have a whole underground um, maintenance walkways here. Um, there are 28 electric fences in a grid design. Um, I have some turrets here in case they break through with another generator. I probably should have actually more turrets, but uh, Anyway, um, you get it. It's the, everything should be live. Let's make sure real quick. Everything should be live. It is. Um, and then there's another Jenny place over on this side here for that for the other side. Um, anyway. That's the uh, the basic layout. It's just uh, two hallways, two or two different directions. Uh, we'll pop out here, um, and let's see. You can see the grid here. Um, so down here in the bottom, we have uh, two dart traps there, two dart traps there. There's two trip wires actually there. For some reason, that bottom one doesn't show. I don't know why. Uh, I strung it like 40 different times, redid everything, and it still didn't show, but it shows connected, so I'm going with it. Um, then we have um, dart traps here, and they're controlled by that motion sensor there. Uh, so you can see when they get up to about that uh, fourth block, it'll start firing. These will start firing straight up the ladders. Um, anyway, uh, let's go up here some. Uh, once I get here, there are trip wires again for five dart traps um, that'll shoot darts. Um, 
and five electric fences that are uh, always on so it'll freeze them right here for me to shoot from my vantage point there. Um, and th this is basically the base. I got, I said, uh, some electric fence there to keep them off this. Um, basically th how the base works is I set in here like this with my trusty turrets. Um, I have uh, pulse rockets and pulse bolts. Let me actually load that up. And pulse boats. And basically, I just shoot down there. Um, uh, because it, especially for the bears and the bears, dogs, and the sp spider mothers or whatever they're called, uh, they can't climb the ladder. Though I have seen dogs climb the ladder after my ass. But they, they won't climb the ladder. So um, I will try desperately not to blow myself up. The worst thing that can happen is something falls down in front of me as I fire the rocket. And that could be bad. So uh, I have this little overhang here. And uh, I'll try to shoot down as far as I can. Now I have a little ladder here so I can really get out here and try not to blow myself up. Um, in here is the shaft that goes down to where we were. Um, I have a chest there with some stuff in it. Uh, over here, let me go let me take, let me go back in God mode. Um, we have a way to repair these electric fences. These would probably be the only ones I would try to repair during the, the battle. Um, the other side is uh, basically the same except for uh, the Jennies here uh, and I don't I sh shouldn't have to come over here for anything darts run out they run out I'm not really too concerned about it um, and that is the base uh, we'll give one more let's go up one more time whoa hey there's like the fence there so this this is based on um, my pit base from the 5x5 five five challenge, which I kind of stole from uh, Stake, uh, Stake uh, NZP, I think, um, was, was his name, um, and modified. And I gave him full credit for that, too. Um, this one is heavily modified. It's not 5x5. Five five, it's 7x7. Seven seven. Um, and uh, I also need to give credit to Mr. Mr. Breach for reminding me about these little having to have little steps uh, to lure the zombies down. Um, I forgot about that. Uh, with the new pathing, you have to have a way for the zombies to think that they can get closer to you. So they try to step there and they fall. Um, anyway, um, I raised this up one because, again, the zombie pathing, they shouldn't try to go up just to go down when there's a, a place where they can just go down um, in theory because um, I really don't want them climbing down the ladder because otherwise they won't they'll cluster right there and I don't want that so um, that's the base um, it's kind of it's not a very efficient base uh, it's going to uh, use lots of ammo. Um, let's see, I do have 2,000 rounds of uh, energy cells, a whole bunch of darts, 40 rockets total, and 120 uh, plasma uh, pulse pulse bolts. Bolts. I got a repair kit. I got some first aid. And over here, whoops. I have some additional first aid stuff if I need it. Uh, somehow I always end up getting a bleed or a concussion or something. I don't, I don't know how, but I guess those uh, fireballs are pretty deadly. Uh, let's see. Oh, I need to actually grab that because that's supposed to go there um, in case I have to make an emergency block. So what I see happening, how I see this kind of playing out is um, 
At a certain point, I won't be able to blow that up because there would just be too much stuff here. Um, the succubi will eventually show up and they'll start beating their way down through here, but I should be able to shoot some of them from here. But I do have, let's see if I can turn, I don't have a headlamp, but I have these um, girders, I don't know what you call that block, but I can shoot through it and I can see through it. So when they breach, and there's three blocks, so when they breach up there, I'll have three blocks that they have to get through to get to me and I can shoot up. Uh, but uh, the problem is that I know they'll pile on that, uh, so it's going to be hard to uh, keep them out of there once it starts. But I'm hoping that I'm close enough to sun up that uh, um, I can hold. Now the other thing that's going to happen is after, even after sun up, is we're going to have the screamers. And because this base is a shoot 'em up base, it's going to great generate a bunch of heat. So we'll get screamers. Um, and because the game cheats, they'll start screaming even though they can't see me. And then we'll get screamer hordes. So um, I may pick up my toys and run down and run out the other side, uh, down through the base, and run away and come back. Uh, I don't have a escape vehicle. I should, but I don't. But I'll, I might just just teleport over to the other. Once I make the make it down the tunnel, I might just teleport over to the other base and wait it out till they disappear. Uh, or we could try to fight it off. The base will crumble, I'm pretty sure, because after 64 zombie uh, onslaught for six hours, uh, there won't be much left of it, I don't think. Well, enough talking. Let's get going. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and advance the time. I got all the generators running um, because I wanted to save time on the video, so I started them before. Um, that's not what I want to do. I want that on. Set time. Um, let's see, 72155. Well, let's do this. Uh, Okay, here we go, guys. The moment of truth. Dun, dun, dun. I, I get two rows here, uh, kind of like a guard, because the, uh, the succubi are really bitches. They really are. Why they're in they're holding on there. Huh, they should just be falling down. I mean there's no I mean they could dig to Kingdom Come up there. It'd be quite a long time before they could get through. And I'm happy to shoot them. The other thing I really gotta watch out for is is uh, uh, what you call it uh, the big super mutated demolishers. Okay, let, let's let's hit us. Uh, we got quite a bit of stuff down there. That really packs a punch. Let me tell you. Why they're up there beating on that? That's weird. I'm just gonna have to keep them off that those blocks up there. They they can't see they can't possibly see a path. I mean that's solid titanium for several blocks. Yeah, I should mention this is all the whole thing is titanium. I didn't I didn't want to worry about 
different blocks, so I just built everything out of titanium. Well, that was a cop. I almost wish I'd made more turrets so I could cycle them. They are climbing down, so I guess that didn't, dis dis but they stopped beating on that block at least. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend this base on like Warrior where headshots matter because it. It would just be too much, I think. I mean, I'm pretty good at headshots, but there's still a lot of... That was close. See what I mean about stuff falling, falling in front of you while you're shooting? I thought I was going to blow myself up. Uh, I might go... So, let's reload these. And then let's take a, a trip out. Let's see what we got going on up here. Hmm. No succubus yet. Conglomerating around that one area. Unfortunately, I can't rocket uh, or even bolt this at the ladders because it's way too close even though the blast radius says it's like five radius it lies a uh, rocket from here would kill me on, onto the ladders uh, and the pulse bolt does like I don't know about 60 damage to me after it goes through my armor
because there's quite a few zombies. I didn't think it would be this, uh, this, uh, much stuff. I mean, here, if I eat, well, let's see. I don't want to do that while I'm hurting. Oh. Let me heal up a little bit here. And I'm going to throw a pulse bolt over there. See, it did about 40 damage to me, even through the... I got company up there. I didn't even notice. Oh, and I need to really get on them. Oh, and you glitched through, you bitch, you. No glitching for you, you're gonna die. Die, bitch, die. Thank God. What in the hell? Okay. Just gotta possibly kill everything in sight. That was a beer that just glitched through. I need a block. I need to put a block up there. Hold on. I gotta get rid of her first. Oh, that's not where I wanted the block. Oh, wow. Uh, let's see if I can get out here. Come on, give me my freaking... Oh, no, I don't want that. I need to get rid of these damn bodies.
well. They're really freaking doing a number over there. I don't want them bre breaching in. That would be bad. Stay here a minute. I didn't realize I was that bad off. Oops, that's not what I wanted. There we are. Well, that's an awful lot of succubuses. Well, we're almost there. That's not going to be good. I might have to nope out of this one. Oh, well, alrighty then, bitch.
Come on, give me a headshot. Oh, she's a Marnar. That's why she's so tough. Awesome. So if I kill her, all the rest of them die too? What? What the hell? She was dead. That means they're all down inside. All the, if I'm hearing all the turrets down there. Whoa. Okay, we might have to just run away. Uh, let's see. Do I have a door? I don't have a door. I do have a hatch, though. Normally I would have a vehicle here, so I'm just going to jump up here. Oh. Ooh, shit. Yeah, I'm running away like a little bitch. Boy, she's aggressive. Kane outdid himself with this. He said he had new models and new uh, tactics. Uh, no. Okay. Damn, she made some craters. Alrighty. Uh... Go ahead back this way. 
think I'm going the right direction. Yeah. Oh, hell. Battle's over. Okay. We survived. I'm going to do a kill all up here. So we can do a okay. Well, that kind of worked. It did keep them out some. Uh, interested to see. Whoops. Interested to see. Definitely got some use because that one's at 530. Yep. Definitely got some use there. Uh, yeah, that they kind of beat their way in there, didn't they? Uh, let's see. No breaches here. They did not breach here. Uh, let's see, let's, let's pop in here and turn off some, turn these off so we can take a, take a more of a gander at what, where's the generator? Oh, well, they took that generator out. <laughs> Alrighty. So they breached through here somehow. Or glitched through. God, glitches kill me, man. Oh, well, they did breach through here. Okay. Uh, hmm. Well, those kind of did their job. So, they did breach there. They did not breach here. And, yep, those f fired all their, all their rounds, which is what I thought they would do. Uh, they did not breach here. Of course, this is double uh, because I'm up there, so they're going to always go this way. Usually. Apparently they went this way. So maybe uh, doubling up these would be a good thing. Uh, but then you would have to, because it would make a lip here, so you would have to go all the way up there with the... Uh, uh, these things. Yeah, you would have to go all the way up so they wouldn't uh, catch on it. Uh, well, shoot. Did these run out of darts? Yep. Fired every dart we had. I didn't throw a molly this time. Amazing, huh? And they did break the path there at the end. Yeah, so they did break the path because they're stupid zombies. Well, crap. I'm going to call this a win, I guess. Even though I had to run like a little bitch at the end because the screamer hordes are just... I'd rather I'd rather do the Blood Moon than the Screamer Horde uh, sequence because yeah she just scream she she summons way too much big shit. Uh, hey, Why well, this level? I guess it really doesn't matter. The, the uh, Blood Moon's bad enough. Uh, let's see, they almost well, halfway through that one. 
it's funny that they were they were clumped up over here for a while. Yeah, you just never know. Zombie pathing's working better because it's a little more random than it used to be. But the random shit is, means they break stuff. Oh, that one's pretty much toast. Alrighty. Well, there you have it. A pit base. Uh, I don't recommend it. <laughs> because uh, the maintenance is really high. I mean, let's see what I what I go through. Uh, almost a thousand rounds. Um, well, it looks like about 20 rounds of rocket. And I should have been doing that more, but... I don't know, 64 concurrent zombies is just a lot. Um, if you're playing normal, this would be great. I mean, if you weren't playing, you know, 64 concurrent zombies... Um, it's probably even viable at 32, um, but you, you saw how many zombies there were. That's just incredible. Um, and since there's no way to really sort them like I do normally, so I only have to deal with, you know, a handful at a time, um, that presents a problem. But I'll have you know, I did not blow myself up, which is uh, amazing in itself. Uh, I'm glad I had that double, double, uh, barrier there. Damn. It's bad enough that the, uh, the succubi were glitching in as it was. So, uh, things I would do different, uh, probably go ahead and double up, um, the bars down there, put the plates in the wall, um, I don't know, I, something needs to do with this maybe throw some dart traps up here too uh, or something to keep the uh, zombies off I guess we could look in here of course this should be the side that well this is the Okay, that's the inside. So these didn't get much use. So maybe they weren't as effective as I thought they would be. Uh, I'm going to have to do some testing and, you know, have the succubus walk through some uh, electric fences and see if it works. Hmm. I didn't. I just threw them up there thinking that it would work, but maybe they aren't affected. Uh, yeah. I'm going to test that. Alright guys, uh, you know the deal, like, sub uh, go visit Kane's YouTube channel, like his latest video, subscribe to him if you haven't already, and become a patron member for the Darkness Falls mod, and uh, give Kane all the support you can, so he keeps uh, doing this, especially when Alpha 21 comes out, he's going to have to try to do a whole rework. Um, and I'll see you next episode. I I don't think I'll do another base unless I have an epiphany of a new base or one of you guys suggest something. Um, anyway, I'll, I can get back to my regular series, which I've been neglecting for a while. Um, yeah, I need a base for that, so I don't know what I'm going to do for that because I was about ready to move uh, start or start constructing my new base uh, more toward the middle of the map so I don't have to drive so far. Based on these, I don't know. I mean, I hate to just go back to my regular tower base or the other basic ba uh, starter base that I upgraded. Uh, those are kind of been there, done that. I mean, even the uh, where I'm at at Guppy's Bar uh, or Grumpy's Bar is uh, it's basically a you know a filter of sorts. Uh, and that one works really good. Uh, even though they're <laughs> chewing away at the bar. Uh, anyway, see you all next time. Uh, have a good one.